Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, Communications Manager with Nash County, and you're watching a show about your county government, Nash County people, projects, and places. Sit back and enjoy this episode of Nash County Now. Today we're at Nash Central High School, I'm going to be giving the COVID vaccine to people that are 75 and older. Uh, there may be a few others that get the vaccine, like first responders, um, some local doctors, those that are the first uh, in line to get the vaccine in the 1A group. Uh, we'll be out here until we use a thousand doses. We've got a lot of people here and this is what we wanted to see. We've got a great response. We anticipated a good response. We've got Pfizer product with the 21 day um, uh, wait in between the first and second shot, but I'm sure with the lines as they are. I, I just heard from one of the folks about a mile away, the person with the counter just came by and said, you're in. So they, uh, I'm glad to say, even that far out, they didn't turn them away. They were really worried that they're gonna say, hey, we're out of vaccine at this level, but they said, no, we, are, we hadn't gotten to the 975 yet. So they're coming in and we're going to get them registered. We're going to fill out demographic information about where they live, how old they are, if they have any um, side effects to the medicine that we're going to be given today, the, the Pfizer vaccine. They're registered, they come on through. The nurses are behind me in the tent getting the vaccine prepared. Um, we'll have like several cars in line back here and uh, nurses will go to the car to, to administer the vaccine. If they have a history of anaphylactic reaction to any vaccine, we are going to monitor that for a few minutes longer. Normally, if they don't have a reaction to any vaccine or products, we keep them for a 15 minute hold. Also, if they have uh, our own blood thinners, we don't want anything to go wrong with that. So we're holding those, those uh, patients for 30 minutes as well. We're just entering 1B. We, 1A was where we were with the healthcare providers, those frontline healthcare providers, those health department nurses. And we were at Boris Willis Clinic yesterday, family medicine, getting those doctors who see coronavirus patients and, and, and deal with treating those patients. So obviously a hospital was a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, getting their folks vaccinated so they're able to see the patients in the hospital. As we get closer to herd immunity, the more folks protected, guess what? There are fewer folks that can spread the virus. It's going smoothly so far, thanks to uh, our local uh, law enforcement and EMS. We are so thankful for them. Uh, also with our administration building and all of our support for the health department workers and the nurses. So we also want to thank recreation and senior services as well. We appreciate everybody's help in this project. Keep us in your prayers. It's going to be a long day, but we'll, we'll make it through it. For more information, you can call Nash County Health Department at 252-459-9819. When we come back, we're helping low-income residents with their heating bills. This is a skill our local industry needs. This skill can become your job. This job can become your career. 
Nash Community College can teach you this skill, train you for this job, and will prepare you to advance your career right here in Nash County. Our local industry needs you. Start your journey with us. Learn more today at nashcc.edu. Effective January 1st, our Low Income Energy Assistance Program is now available to all eligible applicants. The funds will be used to assist with payments for primary heat sources such as wood, coal, natural gas, kerosene, fuel, oil, and electricity. Eligible households will receive a one-time payment and it will be paid directly to the heat provider. We've had some changes due to COVID-19 and we're trying to alleviate having a lot of customers in the agency. Customers can apply online at epass.nc.gov by fax, email, telephone, and also pick up applications and leave at our front desk in our DSS lobby or in our Dropbox. To speed up the process, if our clients could provide verification of their heat bill, all income for anyone in the household for the month prior to the application date. Although we are not seeing individuals face to face, we still have to complete a telephone interview, so please provide a valid telephone number. This program serves a low income population. It is available through March 31st or as long as funds are available. If you would like more information regarding our LEAC program, please contact our agency at 252-459-9818. Coming up next, we have a new interesting sport for Nash County residents. Local industry leaders need someone like you. Hardworking, dependable, and highly skilled. Nash Community College will prepare you with the technical skills needed for a career, provide job training, or help you enhance your skills so you are prepared for better opportunities. Start your journey with us. Learn more today at nashcc.edu. So coming up in February, we are having a brand new sport for Nash County Recreation Senior Services, Quidditch. So as you might know from Harry Potter fans or books, movies, Quidditch is a combination of rugby, tag, and dodgeball, so it's very exciting and it's very fast paced. So the game consists of seven players per team on the field. It has three chasers, two beaters, one seeker, and one keeper. Each position has different jobs. The chasers uh, will have a slightly deflated volleyball and they will be trying to get it through three hoops on the opposite team's side, similar to the movies. And then the beaters will have a slightly deflated dodgeball and they will be using those to throw at the chasers to make them drop the ball and have to return to touch their home base hoops before returning to play. The keeper defends the three hoops from being scored on by the other team and the seeker searches for the snitch that will be represented by a staff member that will be running around the field so that the seeker has to go after them. So the snitch will have a flag around their waist and it will have to be grabbed by a seeker and there will be a seeker per team going after the snitch during this since in the books and the movies for Harry Potter they are flying uh, all the players will have to have a broom between their legs as they run. So that adds that element of you're flying even if you're still on the ground. But we are taking safety measures. Uh, they will be soft foam like brooms. Uh, from what we can tell this game has mainly started in universities where their students would play and it's grown to the point where we thought that it sounded fun and that the community might like it. So our Quidditch will be a modified version that does not involve uh, as much physical contact, such as tackling, for the safety of the participants. Similar to all of our programs, we will be following any COVID-related uh, safety protocols at Quidditch for youth and adult. Uh, you do have to register. It is $35 per participant. Uh, the different age groups and age ranges that we are having is 6 to 8, 9 to 12, and 13 to 15. The uh, 6 to 8 year olds will not be using a broom. Um, that is the only age group that will not have a broom during Quidditch. So not only is there a youth Quidditch, there will be an adult Quidditch, which will be very exciting. Uh, you can contact us through the same ways. 
So if someone is interested in playing, uh, they can contact us at 252-462-2628. They can go online and find Nash County Recreation and Senior Services. They can visit our Facebook page. Uh, they can look for one of our flyers and mail it in. And if there's any questions, of course, contact us as well. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions. So Quidditch is not the only thing that is new coming to Nash County Recreation Senior Services. We will also be having a youth and adult cornhole league and a youth art contest. For all of our upcoming events, please visit us at nashcountync.gov or our Facebook page. Well, that does it for this episode of Nash County Now. If you'd like more information about any of the topics you've seen today, please email info at nashcountync.gov. Thanks for watching.